primped and powdered Hayley Berlingeri is ready to work. I'm doing a little shoot today here at Consume Studio. We've got the hair and the makeup being done by these beautiful people. We'll do some outfits later, shoot some content. The mother of four is a social media influencer, although she and most others in her role prefer the term content creator. I was a full-time teacher and junior school coordinating principal um, and I make a lot more money doing this part-time at home with my family um, than I did in my full-time role. So yeah, you can definitely earn a lot of money. Social media influencers sell products as they share snippets of their lives on platforms like Instagram. You just want to fix your hair at the front. It's leading marketing professionals like Carly Atkins, who founded this studio, to build their business specifically for use by influencers. Most of the feedback is, oh my God, we didn't know we needed this. Influencer marketing has grown enormously in the last decade as social media became a major part of people's lives. If we test branded content versus influencer content on a particular channel, nine times out of ten that influencer content will outperform the branded content. Analysts estimate the value of influencer advertising at around $25 billion globally and several hundred million dollars a year in Australia. This shift to influencer marketing is not a smooth one. Influencers who say something controversial can face social media backlashes, while brands can also be attacked for lavish spending. Even though it's a form of advertising, many influencers weren't declaring they were being paid for their posts. Leading the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission to declare a crackdown earlier this year. The main question for social media followers is, do you realise these people are selling you something? I think consumers are often quite um, naive about the degree to which influencers are paid and reimbursed and the degree to which what they say is quite scripted versus what they honestly think. Influencers like Hayley Berlingeri have also faced criticism about using their children in their paid posts. Generally they love it. When the day comes that they are not wanting to do it, well, that will be the end of it. It has to be. But the field is only going to grow. We've got this mirror. Industry surveys show younger people in particular want to become social media influencers, lured by the glamorous looking lifestyle and the potentially huge payments. We pay influencers anywhere from a few hundred bucks to, you know, over a hundred grand for, for a piece of work. But those already working have a warning. People don't realise that it is a job. There's work involved. It's time consuming and this is what we do for a living. It's how we make our money. Creative or commercial? It's a question of influence. Eric Torchek, ABC News.